היי דימה. היי נדים. גיפיק. איץ. דימה זה היה לונג דיי. זה היה רק שתי אקלוק, אבל אתם יודעים, אני חייבת שתי חיים היום. Guys, this is the last episode of the community by view. We're so sad that it's over. It's been amazing. But we have a lot of interesting for the last episode. What are we going to talk about today, Dima? Today, we are going to talk about my career trip. I'm jealous, honestly. Wow. I know, after this, I'll give you my full itinerary. You can go and have the best time. As and the kid. plane ticket? <laughs> Plane ticket included. Uh, Nadim is saying something with the Sarah. I, I can't hear him. There's like <laughs> on the side of the screen. <laughs> Buzzing. Hey, because I'm flying in my ear. Hey. But before we get started on the Korea trip, yeah. I wanted to give you something that I got from Korea. What? It's so cute. It's just a little thing. No way. It's a little magnet. No. <laughs> That's it. I love magnets. My fridge kill no magnets from places I've traveled to, although I haven't been to Korea. But no way. Give. Thank you. I thought it would be super fun, like for your wife and you oh my god okay guys we're struggling a bit here <laughs> this is so nice guys the love it's, it's, it's. It just, it's, it's super cool. It's from uh, uh, the main palace wow. in Seoul. It's called Gyeongbokgung Palace. And it's from... Gyeong? Gyeong. Mm? Bok mm? Gong. Gyeongbokgung. Yeah. Palace. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so happy. Of course. Because now I feel like I just live in Korea. Oh, Korea. Everyone should travel to Korea. But again? Or is it done? I'm already planning my next trip. <laughs> already, guys. We're going to go with you on the next trip. What... شو اللي خليك تقرب لك تروح على كوريا؟ I just really wanted to go. <laughs> I really, I wanted to go and visit all the K drama sites in real life. Mm. I feel like after being a fan for literally more than half of my life, it was just time to go and you experience it. it. Mm. You're so right. Mm. I did mm. earn it. <laughs> you guys, I spent four months planning this trip. To get four months in Korea. I okay. wish. <laughs> one month. Yeah, I added mm. one month. But okay. next time, I'm trying to plan for two months. Wow. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm really excited because. Korea is just one of those places that is so huge. Mm. It's huge. There are many, many, many different cities. Each one has a different specialty. There's like in the 30 days, I went to 12 cities. Wow. I took a lot in 12 yeah, cities. Yeah, no, no, like crazy. a rabbit. Yeah. So yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> rabbit. There are so many things in Korea that are worth seeing. Mm. So and I said that the 30 days were too short. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Where did you stay? Where didn't I stay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the I, hotels. Yeah, but okay. but all types of things. So okay. like, you know, I did. I stayed in hotels. Um, mm. I stayed in these things called K stays. K stays. Okay, yeah, hello. so it's like Korean stays, yeah. and it's like um, so an old style Korean house is mm. called a hanok. So I stayed in like uh, modernized hanoks. So inside there was air conditioning. Like you know, that was I was actually looking at the listing. I'm like. Air conditioning. Okay, good. Great. <laughs> yeah, they're super nice. They're like modernized, like what you would expect to be like a luxury stay, but it's in a Hanok. So it's the old okay. type of Korean house. Um, I didn't stay anywhere out in nature, like camping or anything, because it was so hot. Like uh, there was absolutely no way. Although maybe like in the future, it would be super nice to do like one of those like um, camping trips. Uh, Korean camping trips are very popular. Like, Like camping is very much in their culture. But yeah, mostly hotels and case stays. I'm not a fan of camping, honestly. I'm really? I'm creepy crawlies and insects. <laughs> hey, I'm about nature, Keef, in Korea. But okay, what was the best thing trip? For me, honestly, it was... You know, I came into Korea... Honestly, with zero expectations, mm. because I was so scared that if I had high expectations, I would go in and they would all be, you know, crushed. Yeah. And that would like that would have ruined my life <laughs> because my whole life is like, you know, creating creating content about Korean culture, Korean dramas, things like that. So I came in with zero expectations. But, you know, inside I had expectations. Had some expectations. I couldn't. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. you know, it's normal. It exceeded everything. Oh, wow. It That's really beautiful. did. It was so nice. My favorite thing was visiting the K-drama locations. Ah. It was so special because, you know, like as an avid K-drama fan, I know these places. You know, I've seen them on my TV. I've memorized them from how many videos I've made about them, you know. So like seeing them in real life was so cool. But I was, yeah, like and I was not prepared. <laughs> I was did not you prepared. feel emotions? Certain emotions, I'm not a specific 
location, for example. Yes. Because you remembered a scene and it touched you or triggered you or... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Because there were obviously like some some of my favorite dramas, like for example, is a drama called 2521. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, there's like a really important um, tunnel in the drama where like all of their like life, like things happen. Like they've had moments where they've ran through the tunnel. They've had breakups and romances and things like that all with the tunnel in the background or them running through it, et cetera, et cetera, mm. et cetera. And in K-dramas generally, they actually do use the locations as they are in real life. They don't change a lot of oh, it. They don't change No, stuff. so okay, it's- yeah. what, That's if, a big difference from Hollywood, which yes. tend to mess a lot of things. They add stuff, they remove. Hol mm. as is, which yes. is amazing. Yeah, It's so nice. Like maybe they would add props to it, mm. but they wouldn't change it like, you know, mm. as like a, as a place. Mm. So it was so beautiful. I went to the tunnel and that day, oh, it was raining and Anna kunt from you like You had the, your umbrella moment? Did I, you have an umbrella with you? Anna, I threw the umbrella away. It was not the time. Like, <laughs> I literally, if I show you guys the videos of me that day, the rain is like, it, it, it basically showered me. But in all of my videos, I do not have a single umbrella in sight. I brought my umbrella, but I had to keep it in my back because the umbrella was like disrupting all the videos. Like, you know, <laughs> for Anna, I was drenched. Like, you know, even wow. like my littlest hairs were dropping water at that point. <laughs> and Anna, I saw the tunnel fully fully like you know i remember I, I was even taking a video because i was on the other side of the street and a bus was going past and i saw the bus move and i saw the tunnel wow. you know and i it was squealed. like a reveal yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah exactly I, and i was like oh this is it <laughs> and i went inside oh my god it was so emotional and you know what did you feel when you went inside like Wow, this is the uh, tunnel. <laughs> like, what is this? Were there other tourists there? Yes. Well, okay. I'm yeah, sure yeah. you were alone in the tunnel. So no, okay. but you know what? I would have loved to be alone yeah. in the tunnel. <laughs> mm, why not? Yeah, yeah, because it's honest, it's like really far from Seoul. Like, mm. you know, it's like um, like three hours like away from... Is and it all by bus and stuff? How do you move around there? I know, I know. Like, I know, and I really... And I went through everything in, in Korea. That's what I wanted to say that... And when you watch a K drama, they all make it seem like you know all the locations are in central Seoul, mm. but in reality, it's not. they're it's, so spread out. They're okay, everywhere okay. because honestly, central Seoul is very busy. You mm. can't film like this, like for everything, you know. So they obviously have to go to like further towns to film. <laughs> Jeonju, for example, where this tunnel was, was a three-hour, you know, like um, bus and like drive and like five billion different things. There was another. <laughs> Let me tell you the story <clears throat> of another, like this was uh, my second favorite thing that I did in, in Korea for, okay. for K-drama locations. Mm -hmm. um, it was called Daejanggum Park. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know how in historical dramas, they show you like old style Korean houses, palaces, things like that. Yeah. They're almost usually never the actual ones because these are like UNESCO sites. Like mm. for example, I got this uh, magnet from a UNESCO site palace. Mm. Not many dramas can actually film there. So what they did is that they created a whole like, you know, you know like, uh, really gigantic historic filming sites. Oh, so they recreated it basically. Yes. Okay, and it look and it's real, like oh, wow. you know. But it's super cool because, like for example, if they recreated like a whole palace, they would put like when you go inside, you'll see like the little like electric sockets so they can of put course. the lights. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. funny. So it's yeah. only at eye level, but above is all the film stuff. No, and no, you it's, mean it's, cameras it, and all of that. It's no? incorporated. Oh, it's incorporated. Yeah. Okay, so, that's cool. so for example, for Daejanggum Park, um, it's huge. It would take you like three to four hours to get through the whole thing mm. and multiple dramas film there all the time so it's not like you know equipped they come with their equipment they come with their production things and stuff like mm. that so to get to that it's almost four hours away from Seoul and I'm staying in Seoul you know so Anna to me that whole week it was raining non-stop wow. but there was one day which is the day that i wanted to go to this park that it was be sunny mm. but anna the previous day i was up till 2 a.m trying to get back from another k-drama <laughs> location so anna aslan i entered my hotel room at 3 a.m i literally i was looking at the ceiling i'm like i can't do zombie. this zombie i know yeah. you don't like zombies but i mean i feel it's appropriate <laughs> seriously <laughs> like that was the vibe and i came into my room i'm like dima you deserve a break tomorrow you're not gonna do anything i woke up at 10 a.m 
And I looked at the sun outside. I'm like, I need to get up. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I need to. It's, it's sunny. Yeah. I can actually move. Yeah. So, Anna, I looked at the bus schedule at the time and it told me that it would take me uh, six hours if I wanted to go there by bus. I was like, what am I going to reach when it, it ends? Like when it when it closes. So I took a taxi straight there. Taxis in Korea are not as expensive as they make it seem. Mm. Like I think it was... Um, It was like 300 dirhams for okay. a three hour ride. Okay. For Saraha, it was like, you know, at the time, I was just thinking about it like cost effectively. It was good. It was yeah. fine. I entered the guide at like, you know, where I bought the ticket to go inside. I told him, I was like, oh, how long will it take me to get around the park? And he was like, two to three hours. I'm like, are you sure? He's like, okay. And I reached at one o'clock. Yeah. I stayed there till six o'clock, and six o'clock is their closing time. Anna, Nadim, imagine this. This is a gigantic historic park in the middle of the mountains, in the middle of nowhere. But it's safe, right? No, no, Korea is yeah, super, super safe. safe yeah. okay. I'm alone. So, like, <laughs> no, you know, I just got my tripod and then my phone screen cracked because the tripod fell at a ro <laughs> on a rock at some point when I was filming. For, it was a nightmare. Oh, God. So, so anyways, I like run out of the park at six o'clock and I'm looking at an empty parking lot in the mountains. I'm like... So how do I get home? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you still had battery on your phone, right? Uh, yeah. I carry two portable chargers ah, in Korea. Okay, okay, I would great. never, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. As a content creator, Kamani, I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> imagine I'm in the middle of the park, my phone dies. I'll cry. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> so But you're in the parking lot? I'm in the parking lot. And I'm like, I try to see when the bus would come, but it kept getting zero. I tried to call a taxi, but we're in the middle of nowhere. Mm. So I can't call any taxis. Mm. So, and I'm looking around, I'm like, actually how do i get out of here i'm three hours really away. creepy actually yeah, yeah it was uh -huh. it, it was uh, scary so then i went to the um, security ajushi and ajushi in korean means like um older man okay. so like and i went to the security guy and i was like hello <laughs> where's the next bus but because i was speaking in english he ignored me <laughs> because like you know koreans sometimes like older like koreans get shy when you speak in english because they don't understand it mm. so they like you know try to shy away from it so, but and i was like no 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 no. i went and i spoke broken korean i literally like <laughs> hip hop there i'm like hello and where's the bus like and i was using the translation yeah, app yeah. and stuff and he's like okay it's going to come at seven o'clock okay and it was six o'clock so i was like okay fine i go and i sit on the bench and i'm like tub what do i i'll live stream uh -huh. i was about <laughs> to say and you should have live streamed if you felt lonely yeah. i did i i didn't not because i felt lonely because i was like if something happens at least it'll be on the live <laughs> at least it'd be great content she can go viral from the afterlife <laughs> <laughs> literally yeah, yeah. i started live streaming i was just live streaming live streaming until like you know then خلاص, like it became dark and i was just sitting there i'm like mm. <laughs> and then i finally see like you know how there's like a bus in my neighbor to toro like you know it's like um it's like a cat bus and yeah. it lights up in the dark or like a harry potter bus where yeah. like you know everything would be like normal and there's no cars and then you just see a bus like whizzing <laughs> past <laughs> wow <laughs> that's that how beautiful though. very nice yeah. <laughs> I loved it. I was so happy being alone in the mountains. Like, <laughs> but yeah, and then I see like this, this like one lone bus whizzing like in Norm 2 and it stands right in front of me and I literally look at it and voila, I tear up. I'm like, okay, I go inside the bus. My bus card doesn't work. What? It, it declined. I, I looked at the bus driver. I'm like, Have pity on me! I swear to God, <laughs> like you know, I, I can't do this. I, I, I found cash. I just gave him cash. Uh, okay, I'm like, please, it, 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 guys. It Were there other my... people on the bus? No, ah, okay, no, okay. no. Like you know, later on though, like you know, one girly got on the bus. So I literally looked at her. I'm like, hello, <laughs> <laughs> new friend. <laughs> I swear. And she, she like, she probably got creeped out. It was just me being like, hi. <laughs> Tadima, did you go to any locations that are in K dramas on View? Yes, of course. Tell us. You know how you watched Goblin? Yes. That yeah. that river thing. The, the, uh, the pier, pier. Pier, yeah. Yes, but for Goblin, I went to five locations. Oh, wow. Yeah. What yeah. locations? So, uh, when There's I've, that one, the yes, pier. Yes, the yeah. pier, but that has a really great story. I'll tell you it yeah. after I explain. Um, uh, I went to the wall where they meet for the first time. I'm pretty sure it was in the first episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were holding the umbrellas and they go past each other. Yeah, that's yeah. beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I found it. I actually, um, I made a mistake the first time I went there. I thought it was another castle wall. And then I went around. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? I was comparing the scene to the thing. Tiller, like, you know, I ma made a mistake because the actual place where they had filmed that, they had knocked down one 
one half of the wall for so, like on on the opposite side for and i was looking like for nothing basically oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I was looking around i'm like but where is it <laughs> i finally found it i did that i did um one of the cafes in the later episodes where mm. she talks with sunny um it was super nice it's this really cool le pat bingsu cafe i told you that's like a korean dessert yeah. um was it good it was really good yeah, yes uh, like it was like did you bring me ice. some do you from have Korea, in your purse, like now, perhaps I, uh, still frozen from your past trip. I am sorry, like you know, <laughs> I did not think that far ahead in September. <laughs> okay, carry on. Yeah. Um. Also for Goblin, what did I do? I did. Um. Uh, oh, oh my God! You need to watch the scene. You're missing out. I'll make you watch it later. In which uh, episode is it? Um. Like towards the end? No, it's in the middle. I think mm. it's either episode six or episode 10, you guys can correct me. Um, but basically, Grim Reaper and Goblin walk through a tunnel mm -hmm. and there's mist everywhere. Ooh. I walked through that tunnel. And there was mist? No, there was no mist. Oh, there was rain, though. Oh, like, okay. you know, so that kind yeah. of like... Um, <laughs> uh, so they, yeah, they walked through the tunnel and there was mist everywhere. I went to that tunnel and then like, you know, magically enough, another drama on view, Twinkling Watermelon, mm -hmm. also shot some scenes in the same tunnel. Oh. So I kind of, one bird... So that's an iconic <laughs> tunnel, yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They use a lot of tunnels in mm. K-dramas so now that I'm noticing. I noticed. You mentioned three already <laughs> in the last five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what other view drama locations? Um, uh, for view, wait, no, I want to tell you oh, about the story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, I want to tell you about the the goblin, um, uh, goblin Pierre mm. story because that was uh, that was something. Mm. Um, <laughs> so the day that we were supposed to go to the goblin Pierre story, I was uh, me and my friend were staying together. Even though I went to the trip solo, some days I stayed with my friends. Um, uh, so <laughs> for the Pierre, it's in an area called Gangneung. Mm -hmm. It's two hours away from Seoul by KTX train, which is the high speed train. KTX train? Yes. Ooh. So high speed train, two full hours. You want to go with the normal bus? Four hours. Okay. So Anna, I knew that this day we will save it for Gangneung. This is it. Mm. So Anna, I, uh, me and my friend are staying at the hotel. We saw that the only KTX train that morning was going to be at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then after that, the only other one would be at 4 p.m. So... 10 a.m. We need to be, we need to be there 9:30 a.m. to get on the 10 a.m. train. Our hotel was seven minutes away from Seoul Station. <sighs> everything, <Sorry. laughs> everything yeah. logistically was great. Like you know, very easy morning. We just walk over to Seoul Station. We get on this train and we go there. So easy. I woke up that morning and I had some work to do. So I woke up at 6 a.m. I told my friend, I was like, you need to be ready in this room. 9.20 a.m. on the dot. I will come back here. I want to see you and your bags. <laughs> <laughs> so sleep in, do whatever you want. I woke up at 6 a.m. She woke up with me like, you know, my alarm was really loud. And then I told her, I'm like, Majd, is, it, is your alarm ready? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, great. I go. I come back 9.20 exactly. What do I find? She's sleeping. <laughs> and now I looked at her. I was like, up, get up. <laughs> He's crazy. No, no, literally. I, but I asked her, I was like, are you really tired? Do you want to get up yeah, today yeah. or not? And she was like, no, I really want to see this. I was like, okay, yalla, yalla, yalla. So we ran to the train station. We got inside the train station at 9.47. Mm. The train is going to go at 10 a.m. We still need to buy the tickets. I go into the train station. There's police everywhere. There mm. are people protesting everywhere because oh, there's a strike. Th because there's a it's the day before the official national holiday. Oh, okay, yeah. And I'm stupid. <laughs> like you know, to decide to go with the KTX train to somewhere two hours away the day before a national holiday oh, where wow. everyone is taking the train. So I'm going around. I'm like, what? what the? I'm like, everyone out of my way. I need to get to the tickets. So I run. I find the tickets. I finally, finally get in line. It's nine fifty. We have 10 minutes. I go in, like finally, finally we get in. The The person who was like selling the tickets, she's like, where do you want to go? I was like, I, we want to go to Gagnon. She's like, okay, there's only standing space on the train, which means you can't sit down. You have to stand for the two hours until you get there. I was That's like- That's not annoying. Yeah, I was like, it's okay. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Yeah. Like, you know, let's go, let's go. And then she's like, okay, the only train back is at 9 p.m. I'm like, Habibi, it's okay. Yalla, like, you know, <laughs> just give me the ticket. Then she prints out the ticket and ala mahalha, she takes it out. I will never forget this. I'm annoyed. She took it out, took out her pen. Today is Wednesday. <laughs> You're going from Seoul <laughs> to Gangnang. I literally looked at her. I'm like, 
Miss girl, is it the time? <laughs> it was 9.54. But you don't seem worried that you know if you're going to reach the time. Yeah, because like, you know, and, and, uh, but the thing is, you know what I was so worried about? The fact that everyone was, uh, like everyone that was protesting, all the police and things like that were in front of the, uh, like the departures uh, mm. wall. But anyways, I was like, thank you so much. I grabbed the tickets and I ran. And then like, you know, all of the police were blocking the departures and I'm, I literally just waved my ticket. I'm like, move out <laughs> of my way. We ran in. We ran into the train. The doors closed oh, after wow. us. Okay. Imagine. Last second. Last second. So then we finally got to Gangneung two hours later. Like, you know, we got in. And I'm like, how do we get to the pier? Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that was like the next, like, in no trouble something. But it was okay. We finally, we got like a tourist taxi. We ran um, to the pier. It was raining. So there was no people. Mm. But even though it was heavy, heavy rain, we were there alone maybe for five minutes mm -hmm. before other K-drama fans came. Mm. Imagine, like other Goblin fans came. That's nice. It yeah. was so nice. So, It's really iconic. So yeah. it, was, it was beautiful to be there. It was so nice yeah. to be there. So I almost got blown away. Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I almost became part of the drama. Like, <laughs> <laughs> can you, you can imagine the wind speed at a beach. Like, Must you know? be insane. And we're yeah. holding umbrellas. <laughs> and, and there's like a really special moment in the drama. I don't, you haven't seen it yet, but um, he basically comes whenever she blows on a candle flame. Flame. Oh. So whenever she blows a flame, uh, yeah, flame. <laughs> whenever she blows like a flame, he like appears. So me, me and my friend were trying to get like a flame to come out of the lighter, and then the lighter <laughs> wouldn't turn on because it was raining. And then like, no, when I finally got the lighter to turn on, I burnt my finger. <laughs> 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 so, Dima, what yeah. was your least favorite thing in this trip? My least favorite thing. Um, There must be something. The rain. Oh, rain. Okay. Ya Allah, the rain actually, like, you know, and I told you before, I thought like, if we talk about K-dramas versus real life, mm. in K-dramas, they show a lot of rain scenes and I thought they were fake before. It's mm. real. It's real. It rains so much. Mm. So that was, uh, that was exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else besides the rain? Mm. Honestly, no. Like, it's a pretty easy place to, like, go around. The oh, food. The food is so good. But wait, no, I forgot to say the stairs. The what? The stairs? The stairs. Why? They were staring at you? No, no, no. The stairs. Oh, the stairs. Draj. Yeah. <laughs> Draj, yeah, yeah. Oh, my. Nadim, guys, let me tell you from now, my biggest advice, if you want to go to Korea, is to work out before you go. Uh. No, no, seriously. It's actually not a joke. That's so weird. Man. Everything is uphill. Everything you need to take the stairs, you will walk a lot. Are they a fit culture? Yes. Hesu and Masanheki thin and fit and like very active because they're walking all the time, all these stairs. Yes, all yeah. Head. Okay. And they're so used to it, they don't yeah. even realize that it's uphill. Like, ah, you know, okay, whilst yes. it's just normal. It's just normal. For us normal humans, it's uh, uh, la, 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 absolutely not. Like, you will <laughs> see, like, the, the people that are huffing and puffing up the stairs are all foreigners. Like, it makes know? sense. <laughs> and there, for the, one of the locations, it was um, a tunnel on top of like these 700 steps, like, actually. Mm. Like, you know, there was almost like 400 steps for me to get up until I got there. And as I was huffing and puffing along, <laughs> this 70 year old man passed by me and he's like laughing and like, you know, all these things. Like he's like enjoying his time walking up and down those like, you know, <laughs> treacherous things. He was like fighting and fighting means good luck <laughs> in Korean. <laughs> I'm going to start using that. Yeah, it's, like, it's very fun. Okay. Fighting. You so can do it. Good luck. Fighting. 70 year old man yeah. and, and at 25, like you know, 25 plus. <laughs> 500 like you know <laughs> okay the food اكتشف ده عارف عن الاكل oh my god the food is amazing like you know most of like you know the like korean food in general is very hearty mm. it's very it's a very heartwarming cu cuisine and like i told yeah, you yeah soups stews or hikasas yeah yeah like you know i would say like um korean food is like a lot of stews mm. a lot of soups a lot of meat based dishes mm. but also a lot of like vegetable um side dishes mm. so like you would never have like a meal in korea without a side dish okay and side dishes are usually made up of like different types Types of root vegetables but like pickled or fermented things like that mm. so for example you'd have kimchi, kimchi yeah. yeah you'd have like uh brussels sprouts you'd have like you know, and radish you told me is different there right yes. they have very specific radish exactly yeah. like white radish mm. yellow radish um you'd also have uh, like tofu on the side mm. and it's a culture of sharing food mm. so a lot of korean restaurants actually like you know will have a rule like if you want to eat like you'd you'd have to order two portions or you'd have to be with another person 
person. Love that. Okay. Yeah. So it's a very like I sharing. I think I would fit in well there because I like sharing all sorts of stuff. Really? And food and trying a million things. And that's yeah. my favorite thing. Yeah. It's really nice, honestly. Like, you know, it's a, yeah, it's a very big like sharing culture for mm. food. And I think like my most memorable food experience was the day that I went to Gangneung for mm. Goblin. There was a seafood restaurant where they had this thing called uh, cockle bibimbap. Okay. So it's basically like cockles like in all which what is like cockles? it's like a type of seafood well i didn't oh, know what okay, it was either. <laughs> i love seafood it's like it's like a um, it's like a heartier um heartier muscle oh ah, okay yeah mm. like it no so it's like it's it's this big unshelled mm. um uh, or deshelled sorry and they mi- mix it in with like rice and it, bec- it comes in this gigantic dish mm. and me and my friend came in and we were starving and we didn't know that like in general Korean portions are huge. Ah, they are huge. Yeah, okay. because they're for sharing usually. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. we came in and we were so hungry. So we ordered like that cockle bibimbap. We also ordered like squid rings and I things like squid. that. Mm. It's so good. Yeah. And we thought it would be like enough for two people easily would have been enough for eight. Oh, wow. Ooh, we're looking at it. I'm like, we are never going to finish this. Like, you know, Harfi and we will never finish this. The waiter should have told you or recommended or something. I yeah. think at that point she saw us. We, were, we literally came in looking hungry. Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame her. But oh my God, at in Korean restaurants in general, there's like a lot of, um, like sometimes there's a lot of uh, older like people working there. Mm. Um, like uh, same thing, call them ajumas or ajushis. Ajumas for women, ajushis for men. Yeah. It's really nice. Um, Cause it's like your grandparents at home taking care of you. Or yeah, something. Like yeah, yeah, feeling, like, yeah. Especially at like the Korean restaurants that are in like more countryside towns. Mm. Like you know, it would be like a bit older people working like That's you know nice, in it. Yeah. So um, when we were there, like the the ajumoni, like you know, like we were the only foreign foreigners in the town that day because it was at the before the national holiday, mm. and it was raining so heavily. So she like struck up a conversation. She's like, "Oh, where are you guys from?" All of these things, and then we heard her going around to every table, being like. Those people, they're from Dubai. Huh? Like, uh, <laughs> you became famous that day. Seriously, we're just we're like, oh, we're the stars of the town. <laughs> Did you have a very, very delicious dessert, she Fazia? Dessert? Mm, oh my god. Or really bad. It could be very bad. And if you get really shikti maybe some weird thing that you didn't expect. For food, honestly. There was um, uh, hada. There was hada. Dima always says hada. It, it's it so like funny. it's like my filler word. Yeah, filler. <laughs> <laughs> there was yeah. one not dessert, but there was one restaurant where mm. we came in, mm. and they and we were like a group of people. The food would not stop coming, and you it, say that like it's a bad thing. No, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I was so full. Uh-huh. Like I know it, but, but like all the food that was coming was all like food that I've never really like seen uh, before. Okay. Like you know, they would bring out like. You know, for example, like um, I never had the stew before. It's like it's called uh, ginseng uh, chicken stew, mm. and the, there would be like a bowl like this, and it would be a whole chicken, uh, <laughs> a whole chicken, <laughs> like a whole like uh, like de skin chicken, okay, like you know, okay, like yeah. boiled inside. Yeah. And they actually, even though it's a hot uh, stew, they eat it on hot days. On hot days, if wow, yeah, because yeah. it cools them down. Okay, okay, like maybe they sweat it out. Or yeah, something. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, and then so many things, so many things. Like in note, very different types of fish, mm. um, different types of. Uh, I had live octopus. <laughs> what do you mean live octopus? Bad Asian octopus? No. So what they do is hey. that like you know they cut off the tentacles of the octopus okay. and octopus like in no tentacles like stay alive. They move a bit. They yeah. move. Oh, I've seen that somewhere. You're right. Okay. Yes. So did you eat it and it was moving? Yes. <laughs> Like, you know, and I, I, was, I love octopus, <laughs> but right. I was so scared because a lot of people say that if you don't like chew it properly, it gets stuck in your throat. <laughs> but, <laughs> you get that? So, I know because I was so scared, I waited for it to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> chill, Mr. Octopus, chill. <laughs> <laughs> then wait, wait, wait. Did it taste like the regular octopus lemon do a whole new hick? Just you know, with a little extra wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, Tubbies. <laughs> 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 hey, did it taste like regular octopus? It tasted like you know. It tasted like sashimi. Oh, okay, Adi, yeah, yeah, like yeah, you okay. know, but it's like harder. Okay, it's chewier because mm. you have to keep chew, 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 chewing <laughs> until it goes down. Like you know, Harfi and I was looking at the bowl until. I was looking at the bowl until I saw it stop wiggling. And then I finally picked up the smallest piece there. Oh, oh and they also eat chicken feet. Chicken feet. Chicken ah, feet. I've heard about that yes. a lot. Good? 
so spicy. Spicy. Like, yeah. Yes. So uh, chicken feet is like a street food. Mm. You would order it like no one you want something like super super spicy. Um, and Anna, Sarah, I didn't want to try it, but I mm. went on like a night food tour, mm. and the the yes. guide was like, Dima, you need to try this. I literally looked at him. I'm like, is it gonna be spicy? And he was like, no. I'm like. It, it, it's so red like it, there's no way it, it was i i had it it's like it's rubbery it's ah. because it's the feet it's all it, it was it's all cartilage okay so I, none of that sounds good a lot of people love it because it's yani it's just like that spice kick okay okay it's got anjad it. got so it. spicy after that i had to dr- drink like three bottles you of can't water. have it non-spicy it's a spicy thing it's yeah. a spicy okay, thing okay, yeah okay, yeah okay. so i had that i also had like raw beef mm. um uh, which we we have yeah, in like the air course, world yeah. but there what they do is that um they make <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. they would put it like it's um a Korean beef is called hanu mm-hmm. so they'd like ha- have the raw hanu and then they put an egg on top then they cut up uh, Korean pears which are like you know sturdier than our pears kind of like you know they're bigger mm-hmm. um and then you mix it all together so it's actually sweet mm-hmm. it's not a nice. savory that looks dish interesting yeah, yeah yeah those are like the weirder foods mm-hmm. that I had <laughs> <laughs> okay then what else about the culture there I went to, for cultural experiences, like I went to different palaces mm. and I dressed up in a handbook. Mm. So a handbook is like the old style, like, you know. Royal dressy thing. Yeah, like yeah. traditional mm. clothes. So that was super fun. Um, handbooks are like worn by everyone when they go to the palace. And mm. if you come in with a handbook, the palace entry fee is free. <laughs> so it's super fun. Like, you know, everyone just comes in a handbook. There's so many. Uh, uh, <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then there's just us like you know yalla let's go wear a handbook <laughs> it's really nice like you know when you go wear a handbook like for the first mm. time um if you guys ever go to korea you're gonna go and like do one activity if you have half a day i would go get a handbook wear it and go to the palace okay because it is such an experience when you go to a handbook store they like run around you trying to pin up the skirts and like fit you into the like you know like um, you're getting married or something yeah yeah, yeah. Really. it's like a whole thing and then like the ladies there that do your hair because the, your hair is included when you get a handbook mm. when they do your hair it's so intricate mm. they have 700 different types of accessories like all the girlies will love this like you know so it's so much fun and then when you go to the to the palace and you're walking around in like the big dress and stuff like that you feel like you're royalty mm. you feel like you're in a historical drama that's really nice so yeah it's, yeah, it's really nice but uh Does someone carry the back of your dress as well or so no uh, minions you, don't come included <laughs> no, I'm sad. <sorry. laughs> I wish though that would have been that would have been so much nicer than yeah. me. Like you know, oh my, the first I wore handbooks three times in mm. Korea, and the first time I um I, I this is a really big tip honestly to get a photographer when you go wear a handbook. At oh. most handbook stores, you can hire a photographer c- to come with you to the Brilliant. palace. Okay, it's great. Yeah. You need it because mm. the pictures are amazing. Mm. Are you gonna share some with us? Yeah, yes. I'll show okay. you guys. Okay. Like. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so when you when I went to the palace, that was literally, I think, my second day in Seoul. Mm. And the sun was still shining bright and amazingly. They built, I feel like they built the palaces where the sun was. For, <laughs> it's like extra hot. For, <laughs> I extra would, crispy. <laughs> it, Anna, I became extra crispy. Like, <laughs> imagine this handbook. It's six layers, you know, and it's huge. Like, you know, it felt Do you like, buy it or rent it? You rent it. Okay. And hey. I rented it for four hours. Okay. So you rent it for like half a day, okay. basically. So me and the photographer went around for like, you know, I think 45 minutes. Mm. And then he was like, okay, we're done. I'm like, we're done. As we were walking to the handbook store, I was removing the handbook. <laughs> I, I looked I looked like, you know, people were like, Shumal, oh, hi. Like, you know, but guys, it was like 36 degrees. And now, tough it. You know, like. And you like 60,000 sura probably, because you have a photographer. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's, it's gorgeous. Like, mm. well, let, let me show you guys actually some, like, show right? Us, us. Because I have them saved. I love them so much. It's so worth it, honestly. If you were going to do this one thing, I would truly like go wear a handbook and and have. Except the for best men, time. is there any alternative you can yes. wear or so? Or? Yeah, yeah. So you have like you know at, like uh, the men's clothes, which okay. is like uh, what's it called? Also handbook. Also okay. handbook. Okay. Yeah. But it's it's so nice. Wait, let me show you. Like, let me. Oh, wow, them. majestic, Kheer. right? Okay. Yeah. So nice, mahal background. It's gorgeous. This is wow. the first one. This was the second one. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, I literally when when you're going to Korea you need to have the full experiences you guys of course <laughs> 
This was the... So where can people find their perfect itinerary to the trip? On your account? Yeah, yeah literally. Dima Loves Drama. Dima Loves Drama. Like, isn't it nice. so cool? That's beautiful. Wow, what a dress. It's so nice. It's huge. So that was like, I think is a must cultural experience. Deb, you felt fancy. Did you meet any fancy famous actors on your trip? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was me crying. Imagine, imagine my luck. That's why you must go again. I, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone, everyone was manifesting for me. Yeah. I think that was like the top thing that everyone wanted to hear about. Did you meet anyone? Did you see anyone? I didn't see anyone. Uh, and and I think the reason for that is because I was running around everywhere. Yeah, like I didn't I, stay long enough in one place to see anyone. Exactly. Smiley, I had more reason, let's say, free actor or have something to look forward to. You can like I'm trying for years and much. So I should just go Oops. live there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was so it's super fun. And honestly, like I felt like going there, like K dramas versus like real, real life. life yeah. yeah. It was it was actually really funny to see how in in K dramas, you know how I told you romances are usually slower paced. Right. And like for example, they would like in past dramas, they would start holding hands. Like episode, I don't know. Yeah, what, like yeah. mid drama. But in Korea, let me tell you that you do not see like older people walking in the street. You don't see families, you see couples oh really okay yeah it's a romantic place so uh. romantic everyone like the couples uh, l- this is another tip along with the physical exercise be prepared to feel single <laughs> 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 even if you had a partner yeah. even if you n- you will feel single <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's like holding hands walking down the street not and- only that uh. they are walking down the street holding hands but also wearing couple clothes Cu- and a couple clothes matching yeah. Yes, stuff. Oh, like you know, it's match- trendy there. Yes, okay. matching shirts, matching hats, matching mm. sneakers. Mm. Um, uh, like you know, I saw once uh, they were wearing matching denim jackets. Yeah. You know, so like everyone is a couple. Everyone, and then like they're also like honestly very heavy on the PDA, oh. which I did not expect. You mm. know, like that was not something I expected. Because is it in K dramas PDA? PDA happens like after so long okay. in the in the episodes or like in the drama that when I. I honestly had the ideal that when I would go to Korea, I wouldn't see many couples on the street. Mm. I don't know why. Like, you know, I think it was just ingrained in my head that like, it's a, uh, I don't know, like, you mm. know, one of like the, just that it would match K-dramas yeah, yeah. more. But then I went there, I'm like, yeah. well, this is why me and my friends, like, you know, me and the community and everyone was talking about how there's no way celebrities are actually single as they pretend to be. Like, because exactly. the couple culture there mm. is huge. Do you see old couples together? Because that's yeah. really sweet. They're so yeah. cute. You see them and like they're fashionable. Ah, come in, come in matching at yes. like 80, 80 years old. Yeah, like, still yeah. You see okay. it everywhere. And like people in, in Seoul particularly also are super fashionable. Mm. Like, you know how uh, in Dubai in general, like you have to, I think, like dress up more. Yeah. Like, I you know, but in Seoul, I felt like everyone was naturally like, you know, so fashionable. Mm. They would walk down the streets in like, you know, very neutral clothes. Casual stuff. Yes, kind of. okay. but everything is like paired very well i think fashion is like a very important so they thing have taste, there. Taste yes make, yeah, yeah. Okay. and the malls mm. full mm. full everyone is like you know and I, I in my life i've never seen such filled shopping malls mm. people are shopping and all of the kind of the shops there are very like trendy mm. you know so and i thought in k dramas like you know people like dressing up all of these things was also because just it's a tv show you know what i yeah, mean the product placement to hey, exactly. us, i would have assumed yeah yeah, okay. yeah but the same way that people mm. dress in tv shows the same way they dress in real life like you know harfin it's a very fashionable society interesting the lessons that are different in k drama real life with stuff that are similar if anything else that stood out, that shocked you. And this is not how I see in K-dramas. In uh, Korea, mm, something that really shocked me. Houses, architecture, uh, food, people, kids. I'm just throwing uh, stuff. Oh, kids are Cars. so cute. I saw so many twins. Um, so, so many t- what? Twins? <laughs> twins. I lo- every kid that I saw came with the twin. I was so <laughs> In K-dramas, speak to your twins? Yeah. Oh, yeah okay, yeah, so yeah. that is similar, yeah, between yeah, real life and K-dramas. A lot of the time, like, they uh, they like make, like, twin uh, twins in K-dramas. They just look cuter. Like, you yeah. know, like, two little kids running around. Um, yeah, I saw a lot of, like, little kitties. They were adorable. I think, like, honestly, the most shocking thing is the fact is the fact that in K-dramas, like versus real life, although 
like I expect it to be a lot of differences. There actually w- uh, weren't okay, that so, many. Like, so the biggest thing was how similar it is to what you see in K-dramas. Exactly. Okay, yeah. Nice. Like, you know, because also the, I told you the K-drama locations are not that much different in real life. So, They're yeah. not changed that much. So what you see is what you get, mm. you know. The only thing that didn't happen in real life was me finding like a fictional uh, like romance <laughs> <Soulmate>. type. <laughs> next trip, next trip. <laughs> Guys, uh, I need you to make this happen. I need all of your manifest stations let's get it together you know like let's I, go community collective trip to korea that, that would be, nice. be yeah. so much fun <laughs> wait so nadim like you know throughout this entire podcast yeah. now having watched more k dramas hearing all of these stories how do you feel about k dramas it's funny has you no know, fit it in a new community and mm-hmm. i've been watching series movies and movies all my life i'm 35 mm. Okay, drama is something very new lately, but I feel like I entered a whole new family. Which is, <laughs> and I feel in um, the K community is really strong, right? They're such lovely people. Very, yeah. very strong. Very passionate, very mm. supportive of one another. Yes. And, and uh, just through you, I've learned so much and I feel like I have so much more I want to explore in the K drama <laughs> world. So many shows. Yay. They want, they go to Korea. Yay. magnet. <laughs> Thanks again, Dima. <laughs> No, that's so nice. I'm so happy. You, you know, K-drama fans are the best. Mm. Truly. There's not there's never a nicer fandom like people that like you know not only enjoy the show with you but also fangirl with you about like actors but right. also will analyze with you for endings and theories. So like they really truly like it is such a strong community. That's beautiful honestly. Mm-mm. Oh, I'm so glad <laughs> you guys <clears throat> everyone I made uh, Nadim even a bigger K-drama fan <laughs> and I've unlocked the inner fan girl within Dima <laughs> she was always like this like you know but in this is in this uh, podcast I woke up it was like, like this, this. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this podcast yani khams halqat ma maqul shu mbasatna we covered Seriously. so many things and uh, we hope we'll see you again soon you guys uh, this like this podcast community by view was such a special experience i think for both of us because Indeed. you know it's not only like just talking about k dramas but you know i saw like nadim getting deeper and deeper into it like the interest was growing and l- i love to see that like you know just people becoming stronger fans so much fun really, so it really was yeah. and remember if you ever want to follow more follow dima on dima loves drama for really specific k <laughs> passion is k passion a thing or did i just make that up you just made that up but it's very cool <laughs> like and you're very nice and if you guys want like reviews on tv shows and movies and everything please follow nadim on nad's reviews we love to see it thank you and view <laughs> has all the k dramas you could possibly want huge selection arabic dubbed as arabic well arabic dubbed if you guys are like me and you're trying to get your mother to watch a k drama i think this is the time <laughs> that's the perfect way yeah. right yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is the perfect time please please just open view get get them to sit down get your parents to sit down and be like this is my favorite k drama please watch with me <laughs> so here's hoping for community season 2 by view soon yeah right? that would be super fun that would be really nice yeah, yeah. maybe we'll film it from korea <laughs> <gasps> oh my god Hint. View ah. hints and us to Korea. <laughs> I I will give you so many tunnels. No. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I can't wait to get lost there. <laughs> no, don't worry. After I got lost in Korea, I can never get lost again. I, was, oh, I know how to get around everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thank well, you, Dima. Let's. Uh, what is it? This? It's a finger heart. Yeah. Yes. Finger heart. Everyone. We good, love you all. We love you all. Goodbye. This was Community by View. Community by View. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Dima. Oh, thank you, Nadim. Thank you.